try I stayed up to five o'clock last night well this morning um, trying to comment on every single comment that I have missed Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me here on Tommy Bites Homestead. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. If you're just stopping in, please consider hitting the red button, subscribe, share, comment down below, and like the video. So today I am doing some pink salmon. Well, this is the Double Q Pink Wild Caught Alaskan salmon. This came out of my prepper pantry. So I will be making a prepper pantry meal just to show you something you can do if you have um, salmon in your cabinets or emergency prepper room. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put some olive oil into my skillet. And you just want to put enough to coat the skillet you don't want to have it as if you were frying fish you know what i'm saying got that done now we are going to go ahead and open up is in this bowl i have here let me adjust it down so you can see what i'm doing so in this bowl right here i'm going to go ahead juice it all and just pour it in here that's what it looks like. This has 110 calories. I'm gonna sit this. Well, I'll leave the can here because I can use the can as opposed to messing up a whole bowl that I don't need to mess up. Because y'all, I don't feel like washing up dishes or throwing them in the dishwasher either. So to this, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on because I don't want my hands. It's really hard to get that off your hands. And the ingredients that I'm using is this can of fish, well, salmon. I'm going to use a half a cup of cornmeal right here. And then I'm going to use one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, some salt, pepper. In mine, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic just because I like garlic flavor too. And I'm going to start off with one egg. But in case it's not binding well enough, I have an extra egg here for that. So all I'm gonna do is break it apart and pull out the bones. You see the bones right up in here? You can just take a spoon and do it. I'm just gonna use my hands. So the little tiny, you probably can't see it from my hand because I have on the gloves, but the little tiny white right here, that's like a little fine bone. It won't hurt you, it won't harm you as, you know, like if you were eating other fish. And all I'm gonna do now, and I'm gonna keep the juice in there, is just break it up. Now I'm gonna take one onion, I forgot to tell you about the onion, I so apologize, but I'm gonna take one onion. You need like a fourth of an onion, but this onion is so small, y'all. I'm gonna use this entire onion. I don't know, you get those bags and them bags, sometimes, I mean, depending on where you get it from, I got mine this time from Walmart. Usually I get them from Sam's, they're a, little, a lot bigger when you get them from Sam's for some reason, even though I think the same people own both businesses, I guess they get them from different places or maybe they get, Walmart gets there at a cheaper price or something. So all I'm gonna do is cut these really fine and then I'm gonna put them in my cup, my bowl over here. I had a feeling you'd come just add it to my bowl. Go ahead and add one egg. A half a cup of the cornmeal. We're gonna just do half of 
the half a cup to start off. That's a little bit more than a half. Now we're going to do uh, one tablespoon of flour. And add some salt. And this is to your liking. I'm not going to add a lot because I'm trying to cut my salt. Garlic is just what I want to put in there. You can just put salt and pepper in yours. That's another teaspoon of that. So, y'all, I had to go and run and get my gloves. Just throw them down when I came. I'm going to sleep them. So we about to get busy. I'm going to go ahead and turn my eye on a medium high, which is like an eight for me. Because I don't have a gas stove, which I wish I did. So this is what that's looking like. And you're just going to start mixing it together. Hand. And if it looks like it's not binding together, well, one, I need to add some more of the cornmeal. We're going to add the other egg. I apologize, my son is talking to his dad about. Another one tablespoon of flour since I added the extra egg. And it's coming together, you just gotta keep doing it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the first one. And you're just gonna roll it. It still feels a little mushy. You can just keep adding to it until it's not. But you want it to be juicy, so that's why I put that extra egg in it. That's how you want it. Right there, about that big. Cause I got somewhere to go. There you go. You got your first one in. And you just keep going. Slide around, but you know you can change. You can flip it. My lighter's in my drawer. I don't gotta look pretty, y'all. The one on, yeah, the right side. Probably could have stayed over there a little bit longer. I'm gonna turn my eye back up to seven. That's okay, you can always flip them again. Let me know in the comments. I love that sound. I love it. 
So I'm about to take these out and sit them on this wire rack so they can drain and then I'm going to show you what they look like. So y'all, this is the finished product. Let me turn my light down so you can really see it. And uh, look at it. Look at it. So both sides are golden brown. I'm not hiding any burnt, <laughs> any burnt salmon patties over here. And I'm sure they don't mind me touching it because hey, I had to touch it to make it. Okay. So um, please try this recipe. That's the end of the video. And thank y'all so much for being here on Tommy Bikes Homestead. If you want to see more videos of me cooking food out of my prepper pantry, emergency room food, I say emergency room food, emergency food that I took out of the room that I keep it in, then let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know if you've done this um, recipe before, if yours is different. And y'all just share it out and help the channel grow. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. I am at um, a milestone, y'all. And I hope to continue to grow with your help. So thank y'all so much for joining my family. I appreciate all of y'all. Um, I try. I stayed up to 5 o'clock last night. Well, this morning. Um, trying to comment on every single comment that I have missed um, but yeah y'all I can't hold this plate much longer because this hand over here is numb and tingling so I'm gonna go y'all have a blessed weekend enjoy whatever it is you're doing if you're growing your garden go ahead and grow because if you sow you will grow if you are starting a prepper pantry go ahead and start you know two items at a time you don't have to go big just two items at a time and you can have a savings account, which your food is your savings account. So you're saving it for a rainy day, um, any crisis, any closings, any more viruses, anything that's out there, that's what you're saving your food for. So enjoy, thank y'all for joining me again and see y'all later. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. But most importantly, you need to love yourself so that you can go out and spread God's love with distance, of course, because of Rona. And y'all take care. Smooches. So I want to say also, happy Valentine's Day. Very early. Hope you get what you're looking for, what you want. If not, just know that I love you if no one else has told you that today. Bye. Yeah, still filming. This is my patty. This is the inside. It's not dry. It's burning my finger. So, gotta go.